three different things happening in this video right now. One, I'm in a new location. I finally got this set up to look decent, except for the clutter that's behind the camera that you don't see. So I hope, you, hopefully you guys like this. I wanna be, I'm gonna move over to the side, adding more things to this room to hopefully make it pop. I feel like, can you look at the viewfinder, that the camera's either crooked or this room with the bed is crooked. Number two, I have a microphone attached to my camera now, so hopefully the audio turns out really well. Please, hopefully I put it in correctly so that it turns out well. You don't hear any noise in the background from the compute, from the from the camera or from the light that I have set up. Three, I have a new camera lens. So hopefully it's not blurry right now and you guys can see the quality that hopefully I spent on this lens to make this quality go up. It looks so much better in my opinion than my last quality video. So yeah, so let's just jump into the video. Welcome back J Squad. I am doing a, I spent $300 on a Chinese website. I have this big box right here that I cut open to make sure that it was what it was. And this is from Zappel. I usually get their bathing suits from there, but I wanted to try out their clothing. I really don't remember if I've gotten too much clothing from them. so. We're gonna see how the quality is. I have not tried on anything. The only thing I've looked at was this right here, which is a sweater. And I'm gonna do it the style of video that Patricia Bright does. Love her, love her. She's like the best personality. And I like how she started this video trend of her spending her own coin to buy on these websites. And she just tries on like real life time like she doesn't just sit down and talk about the item and then she has a cut over of her trying it on later because that's not her raw feelings so i'm gonna try to give you guys my raw feelings and we're gonna try these on together so i'm gonna move the camera over there to that mirror lovely lovely mirror sitting right there and we're gonna dive into some zaffle so the first piece is this white sweater and I don't have anything pulled up to match to see if it if it matches what it was described as online. But this looks like the off-the-shoulder shirt that I ordered. It looks really big. It looks really, really big. So let's try it. It's pretty cute. The sleeves are really fat. I don't really like the stitching right here where it's like obvious that it stops. I feel like they could have done that better. I wouldn't, if I saw this in the store, I wouldn't buy this. Like it looked good online, I'm assuming, but I don't know. I'm not really feeling it. I mean, it's okay. I wouldn't buy this online. I wouldn't buy this. If I saw this in store, I would not buy this myself. I would definitely, I don't know. It's okay. It looks cute on camera. But it's not like my first choice, but I'll give it a pass. I think it's cute, just not worth, you know what I mean. So the next piece looks like this black and white. Oh, okay. This is the black and white shorts. It's a medium. They look pretty decent. All right. I kind of, kind of like them. These are cute. They're kind of billowy. So they kind of go out a little bit, which I don't like. But if you pair this with like a long duster coat, this would be really cute. I like it. And these were probably really cheap, probably like $12. What do you guys think? Cute outfit? I kind of like them. Oh God. I kind of half remember this half burgundy. Oh God. Let's figure this out. It's cute. 
But one, it's not very practical. Two, I mean, look at that. I, I raise my arm and you can see my other shirt. You have to wear a shirt under this for you to be able to get away with it out in public. And you can't do that when this is off the shoulder. Like, it's cute, but not very practical. But it was only $15, so I don't know. I'd say, I don't know. I wish I had gotten a smaller. I don't know if this is a medium or this is a... Or, or this is a small, but I wish I had gotten a small because there's like a lot of material to this, but it's still cute. Like, I wouldn't return this. Yeah, I wouldn't return this. I like this. Oh god, this looks huge. Oh god. What size is this? It's a medium. This thing looks huge. Alright. By the way, you guys, this is how I did it. Weird, right? This is actually tighter than it looks. And if I had remembered that I had gotten a dress this tight, I wouldn't have eaten a big breakfast. This, you can see my nipples. <laughs> okay. Now that I have the bad boy on, this is so cute. <laughs> oh my God, look at the booty. Yes, I like this. Ooh, I think this is one of those dresses that was like $50 too. God, I just don't know how to get these things right. Great color, great material, great fit. Gosh. What do you guys think? I like it, I love it, but this was probably the $50 dress. All right, moving on. Wait, is this black? Oh my God, this isn't black and white. This is a, oh my God. This is a green and white and navy blue striped blazer. The, Tax is $79 on it, but I don't believe that. Is this a dress? I think this is a romper. Okay, immediately, I don't know if my boobs are gonna fit into this. Still struggling with this button. In the world am I supposed to put this button on? There are no outside holes for this button. There's literally just an inside hole and the buttons are supposed to be hidden, but that's horrible. This is so hard to try to get into. This is not easy, which is a shame because this is so cute. All right, we gotta go on standby so I can get these buttons to go in. So I threw on a bra under here. I didn't strap it up, so that's why you can see it, but it looks really cute. It has, the only thing that's missing is pockets, but this was $27 and I really, really like this. I feel like if this is a medium, I could go for a large because the button was so hard to get because not only was there not a button hoop to go through both materials of this, but I couldn't barely get it over my boobs, so that could be a problem. So if this is a medium, I could go for a large, which tells you guys that this runs pretty small. So that sucks, but so cute. I really, really, really love this. But yeah, I could feel it like, like this too. It gets kind of tight. Ooh, it's a red purse. Yes, to match my red lip. It's so tiny, but it feels like really good quality and it has these straps. Like if I wanted to be really, really extra, sorry about this, like this is not secure. If I wanted to be really extra, I could do this red purse with this green outfit. I absolutely adore this. So this purse, well the flaps on it are fake for one. Let's see the zippers. The zippers are real to the fact that it actually opens up to what's in your purse, so I don't really know why they would make it real if it's gonna open up to the actual purse and my stuff's gonna fall out of it. But still cute, it's very small. Um, I don't know if 
I would immediately grab this at a store just because I don't like how it's like kind of distressed around here. You guys can see that. It like has that black stuff around it, which is fine, as cute as the style, but it's not something I would run for immediately, but it is adorable. Ooh, I'm happy. What did I get that was velvet? And it's, I already have a velvet suit that I got off Boohoo. Oh, okay, so this is the jogger set. Hopefully I got this in a small, but nope, I got it in a medium. I always get things in a medium just in case, because you never know. I'm actually a small, sometimes an extra small, but you guys know this is an Asian website, so gotta be careful. Ooh, let's try this on. So immediately what I don't like about this, well, these strings are way too long, that's for one, but oh my god, these strings are so long. What are they long for? I don't want to actually have to tie them, that'd be weird. I think we're gonna cut these strings, but for the time being, we're just gonna do this stupid bow. I don't like how the jogger pants don't have a string to it to make it tighter. I feel like it would make it go together better. I feel like I'm back with the baby fat times where they had the matching sets. It's very soft. I mean, if you guys could feel this, it's super, super soft. Not only on the outside, but on the inside. Um, it's cute. Yeah, it's actually really cute. I could see myself putting some heels on with this. Yes, I'm one of those girls who wears heels with jogger pants, so <laughs> don't come at me. But yeah, I love the color. It is so soft. This would be great for winter just because how warm and soft it is. I love how the top isn't too long. It isn't too short. It fits nicely. It's not tight around my boobs, even with this huge, gigantic bra on that I have. Ooh, it's ah! I think I know what this is. It's another $50 outfit, I know that. Nice and heavy. Oh my God. It, if this fits, oh my God. You know, I could have sworn I saw that this was long sleeve online. Oh my gosh. It looks really short. I look like I need to be in Texas dancing next to Selena Quintanilla. Look at this. Ooh. Let's try this on. So this is a size medium. Oh, okay, I see the sleeves. Oh, I'm already tearing it. I'm trying to pull this up. All right, so the sleeves <laughs> go like this. I'm gonna need some double-sided tape, and I'm probably gonna need a bra to wear with this, because you can definitely see my bra right here. But I, I am living. Hey, you can be. Oh my god, you can salsa in this. And then it goes down. Maybe I can try to pull this up. Stay up. Ugh. I'm gonna need some double sided tape with this, I guess, too, hopefully. I am living for this. This was, I'm pretty sure, on sale for $50. So if you're looking for like a festive dress, I say go for it. And if you have $50 to splurge on, I would say go for it. You don't need to spend $150 on a dress like this if you can get it from Zaffle, because these dresses are pretty expensive, but yeah. Hey, that's how we do it. Oh my God, I love this. Oh yeah. That's like an, oh my God. They sent me two of the same things. Ugh. Ooh. That makes me kind of mad, but we're gonna move on. Final item are these earrings, and they are, they're really like Aztec-y. They look really nice. They're not my style. I was gonna give them to my friend, as I said, but I might wear them just because they look really cool, or I might gift them, but yeah, so this was the last item. I love getting like jewelry from places online that are really, really affordable just because I either lose it or I break it or it tarnishes anyway. I don't really buy real jewelry. And obviously I took my jacket off. I just realized that, but whole lot of chestuses going on right now. Hope that doesn't bother you. So my final thoughts is that I really like Zaffle. I normally don't buy $50 dresses, so it's nice to have these in my collection. They're really fun. Um, 
They fit really nice, but they better because they are $50 and they're actually priced higher than that. They just put them on sale all the time. Pretty sure Zaffle always has like 50% off their things, 60% off. So, you know, it's not really that big of a deal. So I kind of do trust the expensive dresses actually. The rest of the clothes was actually really nice. The sweaters fit true to size. Actually, the like romper and shorts, like those type of um, loose fitting thin material, they run kind of small. So the romper I would size up on. Um, hopefully they have plus size on their website. Zaffo reminds me a lot of She Inside, but you guys know I used to always get clothes from there. And I got these pairs of pair of pants from there. So I love getting my pants from She Inside and from um, Zaffo now because just the material, it's really thin and stuff and it's not gonna be like the long lasting material, but it's a really good price. And then I used to always get my bathing suits from um, She Inside as well. Like I love this one. I would have to show you a picture of what this looks like on. But yeah, so those are the two Chinese websites that I actually kind of like, like Zaffo and She Inside. Like I get my stuff there a lot. I have a lot of their stuff actually. So I've only had really good experiences buying from these websites so i hope you guys enjoy let me know if you guys like these type of videos with me trying them on in front of the camera for you guys and not just doing a pop-up over what i'm saying because you can't get your real reaction like that and i will talk to you guys later j squad <laughs>